Good morning, building science enthusiasts. Miguel here from Positive Energy. We are standing in front of or behind our new office building back there. And it's a, about a hundred year old building we've been remodeling to convert for an office space. And today we are aero barrier, aero barriering, say that five times fast, the whole building, which means we're going to spray an aerosolized sealant into the space. And because it's a very old leaky building, we're gonna get it as tight as we possibly can. So the rest of this video, you'll see a montage of uh, that activity and hopefully some useful interjections uh, throughout the process. Hope you enjoy. Sean with Indoor Air Quality of Texas. We are about to air barrier this uh, pre-existing home. We're also going to be air sealing the attic, which adds some additional challenges because this was originally a vented attic. So uh, that's what we're doing, is figuring out the best ways to uh, seal a vented attic. So prepping for aero barrier requires some, requires some thinking so you don't accidentally seal up important things like your bathtub. Definitely don't want to seal that up. So we're going to be taping off a lot. Sealing up the soffit vents from the outside. So one of the easiest things to do is look around uh, at different penetrations in your building envelope. So like these skylights, uh, sometimes you see them sealed, which is really great. Uh, sometimes they're literally just placed on. So in other words, right on the other side of that sheetrock is a hole that's open to the attic and then on that one over there it's also open straight to outside so literally outside leakage and uh, attic leakage and the holes are big enough i can stick my hand through we had to use expanding foam because the holes are so big so bugs um humidity moisture coming in uh airflow whenever the wind blows it's going to change the pressure inside here and all that air is going to come in from out there it's uh, pretty intense. So I think we're done with prep. Um, took a little over half a day with a lot of people working on uh, prepping the envelope to get ready for aero barrier. Uh, with existing structures, it's really hard to find all of the penetrations and where they go and whether or not that's the actual penetration we want to seal or someplace else. Um, so anyway, so I think we've got everything uh, sealed and uh, I'm just gonna take a break here and assemble the, uh, the tripods for the nozzles and then go back in and do another walkthrough, make sure we've got everything. Inevitably something else comes up where it's like, why didn't we see that the first time? So. So what we're seeing here is the graph of leakage. And this will tell you a really interesting story about what the building is doing from an air leakage perspective. You can see on the left of the graph that we started out with about 2,500 CFM of leakage. And as we started pumping the material into the space, you can see where we have a few spikes and that's where a few things that we had tried to hand seal up popped open. So after adjusting those, you can see a pretty drastic reduction in leakage uh, and now we're down below a thousand. It looks like we're at about 900 uh, CFM of leakage in total. And we still have a good ways to go. So you can hear the generator behind me. We're at hour 12 of the whole day and uh, we've been sitting at around a 3 ACH 50 for the last hour. We put all put on gas masks or the big ventilator masks and went inside looked like a scene out of Breaking Bad and tried to find some spots uh, inside the foggy mist, but uh, I don't know if we, we found what we needed. You can see as we've opened the attic hatch to pressurize the attic and try to encapsulate it, it's finding some pretty big gushers up there. We'll see how far we can get with it. We're looking at is aero barrier sealant pouring out of our soffit and our roof edge detail, probably between the decking and the fascia. 
we got the house down to 900 CFM, starting at 2,500, and we opened the attic hatch and went to 4,500. Now it's a little under 4,000. So it's just gushing out. You can't really see it so well in the video. Really. It's cool being in there and it looks so good. It seems to be great to be in there. So it's the end of the day. We've sealed and we're doing our final blower door to see what we actually hit. We've been air bearing uh, this new office for Plaza Energy all day. Uh, we finally got done. Um, we basically got down to 0.68. Uh, ACH 50 with all of the windows and exhaust fans and all that stuff taped up. We took down all of that stuff and did a regular blower door, apples to apples, and the 0.68 increased to a 3.26 ACH 50. Uh, some of my tape wouldn't stay on, some things that like the that are holes open to the attic right now. So once uh, Positive Energy gets all of their holes, you know, figured out, uh, we'll be able to do a real final test and see what the actual numbers are. But for right now, they're around 3 ACH 50. So we took the house from uh, a 9 ACH 50 initially on the first test, and then now it's a 3 ACH 50.